Safety glass. <laughs> Hello, Mayrez. Good morning. We've got uh, Skype happening right now. There's a number of people I need to bring into the conversation if we wish to do that. Um, okay. Um, I'm just, there's uh, one, two. Yeah, we're three. Three or four on Skype, and we have two other people than myself right here, right now, uh, live as well. And there's other people that will probably come on Skype. With I'll put on Lady Dragon. She's uh, some <laughs> Lady Dragon. Yes, I thought you might have run into her before. She's quite a character. Uh, I've just recently uh, made contact with her. We also have um, a live feed for Justin TV right now. And there's uh, how many people on the Justin TV? Does it say five or six or something? Hello, Hi. Where can I find Hi, Lady it? Dragon. I can hear you. Can you hear Lady Dragon, Mayran? Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Well, uh, Hello. Mr. Hello, good morning. Hedge. Good morning. Good, very good morning. Pleasure to, very pleasure to talk to you, sir. Nice to talk to you as well. Uh, Lady Dragon is, uh, she has a website in Montreal and uh, an internet radio show as well. And she's, uh, uh, would love to talk to you about a few things and uh, and uh, has some comments and ideas and so on that she'd like to to discuss as well. Um, can you tell a little bit about yourself, uh, Lady Dragon? Yes, well, uh, I've been around for a while, uh, for like over 15 years. I existed before Google. Uh, so therefore, when I write an article, Google picks it up and put it in Google News, and um, uh, I've known it all over the world, in every single country in the world, and uh, I like to um, uh, spread the truth about uh, about forbidden knowledge and people that things that people that don't want things to know. I like to talk about that to uh, people that uh, listen to me. Are people that are very awake. They are very knowledgeable people. And um, I believe that you're doing a beautiful uh, uh, work, and I want to talk about your great work. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and I have opened a, a special, a specific section on my website, uh, which is LadyDragon.com, and I I talk about all your great work, and I talk it about on my radio show as well. So that's what I want. I wanted to talk. I wanted to uh, to participate in this because. Uh, 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 I believe the world is changing to a better place, and um, I want to participate into the change. You know what I'm saying? Yes, no problem. Right, yeah. uh, you, you are testing a reactor. Kind of, yeah. Uh, okay. I stopped, uh, you know, my last email, and I'm just waiting to see. Otherwise, the predict is ready, so I can do it even tomorrow. Yeah, uh, I have some concerns about your system. Mm -hmm. I would like to see them before you load because uh, it's, yeah. uh, I've seen the things you've done. Uh, so uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, we we uh, can we have a live uh, connection? Yeah, I hope so. Let me see how the. You're coming up. You're coming up. Yep. Uh. There it is, yeah. Yeah, there, there, yeah, there, don't do anything. Here is the, see you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Here is the system. Here is the balloon for filling. This is the first valve. This is the five centimeters tube. Can you take it more, take, can you take it more in the light? The light is in the wrong position. Move your light in a different direction. Is it better now? No. No. The shadow is on the system. That's a little better. Uh, okay. I don't know if I be a, uh, the background. Yeah, yeah Maybe it's, okay. it's better. So, this is the five centimeters tube. This yeah. is the three centimeters tube. This is the inside the jar. There is a magnet steer rod, and yeah. I'm planning to steer it inside, just to see if I'm gonna get a scintillation from that. 
What do you think? You should not see the scintillation. If you see the scintillation, it means you're going to get irradiated. Okay, so... This, uh, the scintillation, especially the way you are doing it, mm -hmm. uh, do you know what the scintillation... Uh, uh, he's disappeared. Yeah, I turned to the video, yeah. I turned off the video, not to... Yeah, the thing is... Uh, the, 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 the strength of uh, centralization mm -hmm. is just on the X-ray X strength. This is what we call mm -hmm. a soft X-ray. Mm -hmm. So you expose yourself just on the, the possible X-ray radiation in a low level. So, uh, it's not such a good idea to see it this way. Well, you the this best thing is to watch it on the TV. I won't be anywhere close to the reactor. I'm going to yeah. be about 30 meters away. So, my idea was just to see if I can achieve uh, these conditions you are talking what are about. You, what are you planning to put in that glass jar? Uh, I have so far helium and hydrogen. I can get my hands on argon, but neon is very expensive here, so I cannot do anything about neon, at least at this point. So the thing is, if you use uh, helium, mm -hmm. you bring the conversion too close to the to the glass. Use a third gas or a fourth gas mm -hmm. uh, to contain the any soft radiation mm -hmm. as a shielding itself. Mm -hmm. Then you will see it. But the problem is if you have a fast rotating magnet the way I saw it in there if they are loose or if your magnet goes loose, your, your glass will open up. That's it. I know that for okay. fine. So, so it's fixed you, them. Yes. Yeah, you got to fix it, but it doesn't work, unfortunately. It doesn't matter what rotation you put on it. A lot of people are using centralized uh, magnets because it's on the patent. I even see it behind the um, rig on the wall. Mm. Uh, you should create the uh, yeah yeah the sun. You should create a magnetic field through material, not through solid magnet. The minute you put magnet or matter in touch with your plasma, you'll mm. find out uh, your um, magma disappears mm. because the, it's, it becomes like a hole, a wormhole. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it literally destroys the, the condition of the plasma the way you like it, or you can keep it, unless you can produce vast amount which continuously get disappeared. But you have to use, if you're using a glass tube, we, we talk about plastic and glass, but mm -hmm. then you have to use uh, what you call a magnetic shielding, or you use an argon or um, uh, whatever you have, in the outer boundary, but you have to keep the content of the vacuum high enough that uh, when you add material to it, you're, you're not a vacuum condition anymore. You are a balanced condition. Mm -hmm. this, this is some people I read, I listen, and I see emails coming to me. They, they talk about uh, uh, what vacuum condition you use. Minus 10, minus, we do, we, we go to minus 9, minus 10 bars. But Why that, can't go down to minus 4? Uh, so you'd have to use a, a turbo molecular pump or something like that, or a diffusion pump in order to get to that level, is that correct, Mr. Cash? I use, yeah, I use combination pumps. You, you use a combination pump, or you vacuum uh, through molecular in the last stage. But once you put the first atom in, your condition of vacuum is not vacuum anymore. Mm -hmm. So you, you change, you become what I call contaminated. And if you read book, I think one or two, 
I explain even in the in the vacuum of the best vacuum, there is still materials. So what the way you have to load up your system is what I call a hydrogen wash. You first of all you sterilize your systems thoroughly. Uh, that is you sterilize them. That there is no fat. You never use uh, hand to handle your reactors. You always use disposal gloves. Uh, if you assemble the system without disposal glove, you find problems because it's like a fingerprint. Fingerprint is fat, so the fat can convert into hydrogen, nitrogen, what you don't need in your system. You try to work in a very clean environment, and what you do, you you clean it uh, with. Uh, Alcohol of a very very high level of alcohol, beauty 90, 95 percent that that level, and you allow it to uh, evaporate in a container, not in the open air, that it doesn't absorb more rubbish on it, or you work within the container which is a vacuum condition uh, or clean condition, and then you assemble your your reactors always with gloves with with glove, and if you by accident touch something else, change gloves. In one experiment, I use up to 50, 60 gloves hmm. because it doesn't matter. The, the reactor has to be thoroughly, uh, what do you call it, um, uncontaminated as much as possible. In a mass production, you make your systems in a way you don't get contamination. But in uh, in trials and the system like which I use, I open my reactors maybe 10, 20 times in a day because I want to see different combinations. So you have to be always aware. If you put a reactor together or your your system together, use your hand. Go back, clean it before you assemble it, because then you see the problems in the future stages of the work. So when you do that, try to use um, inert gas shielding. Inert gas shielding gives you a lot of a lot of advantages and much more rapid ionization. Because Mr. they themselves participated in it. Mr. Kesh, does that uh, require the uh, reactor core to rotate, or are there better ways to do that procedure? Uh, we have tried every possible, uh, what do you call it, combination. And in some, it depends what you want from your reactor. You get different parameters, you get different performances. Some for some tests, uh, you can use central rotation core. This is for mainly lifts. It's very, very nice to be able to use. For energy, you don't use that kind of thing. Use the other point. Uh, some people try double rotating cores. Double rotating cores are one of the most powerful systems. So you're uh, saying there would there would there be a globe within a globe in that situation? Yes, this is the most powerful, but control is very hard. Um, there, it has a lot of problem. It has it has inherent problem. We uh, I built the very first one in Tehran about five years ago. Uh, the and now we are in three and four layers reactors. We passed two. But um, to produce such a system, you need a lot of knowledge. And a lot of understanding of the fields and what gases you put in. Because in a three, four reactor combination, uh, you create different layers of shielding. Two, three core layers, rotating layers, used for defense of the system, for high speed uh, and uh, what we call um, uh, uh, protection, like in the cosmic dust.